Okay, we've got a tri-tip right here. Got this from Food Max. So we're gonna go ahead and season it up. Go ahead and season this baby up. Three and a half pound tri-tip. Got some fat here. Trim off, trim off some of the fat. Okay, here's our tri-tip. So let's go ahead and season this baby up. So, just gonna get some kosher salt, some garlic, uh, some parsley flakes, some black pepper. Any, anything that you, any of these sauces, uh, any of these spices you wanna use, just, you know, just gonna mix them together. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Well, okay, let's go ahead and mix this up. So first, you get some kosher salt. Depending on how big your tri-tip is. So I don't know, I would say a quarter cup of that. Some of this salt, pepper, garlic. Whatever you got in there, guys. So you need to spice it up the way you like. So I got this, some black pepper, black pepper in there. Garlic salt. Just get enough to um, Now you need your parsley flakes. Parsley flakes in there. The barbecue, dry rub. Let's add some of this. All right, so you get this. And just mix it up. All right. Okay, okay. first side I do, I usually do my fatty side first. I just put this on liberally, guys. Liberally. Just rub it in. Flip it around the other side. That's nicely, nicely seasoned, guys. Okay. Let's go outside. On my grill here. Okay, I got I got three parts. So on this one part here is the only side I'm gonna put my briquettes in. So so let's go ahead and light it up. All right, my coals are ready. They're nice and white. So we got this track that's been sitting in there for like 30 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up in this right here. We're gonna open up this side here, smoker here, and this side over here. I'm gonna close it. So they need to flow this way. So what we're gonna do is on this side, the fatty side down first, put it over here on this side. We're gonna do a reverse sear. So we're gonna leave it okay. in here for about hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes, depending on the size of your tri-tip. This one was a three and a half pounder. So I figure about hour and so 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and close this. See our temperature right here? Well, as it's closed, it's gonna climb. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check on it every 15 minutes or so. Our, what we're trying to get is a core temperature of like 145, 150, so we can have it. Okay, it's been going for like 15 minutes. Let's check on her. Cold still look pretty good. See how she's touching there. Just flip her around once. So I'll go another 15. Let's go another 15 and come and check on her. See ya. Okay, we got this side closed. See how the smoke's coming out of this side? We 
got this vent open. All right. Let's see, it's been, now it's been like 30 minutes. And I've just had it on this side of the grill. It's not even been nowhere near here yet. And it looks like it's cooking from the inside out, guys. Look at that. Nice and juicy. Look at the juices on that, baby. Let's do a pork test real quick. Well, come back in like 20, 30 minutes. Show you guys where I'm at. See if we can get my temperature up. All right. It's been like an hour and 20 minutes. It looks pretty juicy. Let's go ahead and do some, uh, check our core temperature here. Check it here. Oh, 153 right there, 151. That's like a medium. Wait, well, let's check it here. I think it's ready. Okay. Now we're gonna do the reverse sear. Okay, guys. Um, what we do, is once, it's, once it's internally cooked, at our temperature, we're going to put it on our coals here and steer it like two minutes on each side. Don't be afraid of the flame coming up on it, guys. That's what we want. You want that flame to come up on it. Try the other side. What we're doing here is reverse sear, guys. Don't be afraid of that flame, guys. That's what we want. See how that looks? See how that, you got that nice charcoal. Okay, what, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this tri-tip in aluminum foil so this tri-tip can drink the juices. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. Okay. Let me throw this baby on there one more time, guys. Yeah. All right, this baby, is, this baby is ready, guys. Look at that. All right, now what we're gonna do is make sure you put the fatty side up. That way, the juices are soaked down to the bottom of this dry test and we'll drink the juices, guys. This baby. Like that, guys. We're going to put this on back over here for 30 minutes and let this fry strip just drink them juices. Okay guys, let's go ahead and check this out. It's been 30 minutes in here. so. Been sitting in there for 30 minutes. Go ahead and slice this baby up. Okay. There it is. There. Look at that. Put it right here on my board. Or you're supposed to do slices like this but we're just going to do for my video we're just going to slide right across okay let's go ahead and slice this baby up let's go ahead and slice it right in half here guys see what we got here let's take a look at this side look at that nice and juicy see the juices yeah. there so let's go to slice it up you can slice this way, let's go ahead and slice it this way. How they say to do it. Yeah. This is kind of like a medium. Well, guys. See, see how juicy that is? See the juices in there? Okay, it's not real pink. If you like it pink, then you would have your uh, core temperature like at 130, 135. Here's an example of a medium rare. 
Look at how juicy that is. So now we're gonna slice across the grains, guys. Let's try right in the middle. Slice right down the middle here. Okay. See that? I don't know if you can see it in the light, but see how juicy that looks? So now we're gonna do thin slices. Look at how juicy that looks. Just slice them up like that, guys. Mm, nice and juicy. Perfect. <laughs> it's pink. That's, that's, that's perfect. You can cook it. You want me to cook it some more? Yeah. I can I put it on the grill more. Okay, you can. can eat wrong. It's not raw. Believe me, you. Okay. Watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like.